Come and watch the grasshopper teach us something new today. A paragraph has parts just like a hamburger. We use a hamburger organizer to help us remember the parts of a paragraph. In a previous grasshopper teaching video, we learned that the top bun of the hamburger is for the topic sentence. A topic sentence tells what the paragraph is about and helps the reader to know what they will learn. In another video, we learned all about the middle part of the hamburger organizer, which is for the supporting details. Supporting details help to prove, explain, or clarify the main idea of the topic sentence. We call this the proof. In today's teaching video, we will learn all about the bottom bun on the hamburger organizer, which is for the concluding sentence. Here's the plan for today's video. First, we will learn all about concluding sentences. Next, you will learn how to identify concluding sentences in a paragraph and practice finding them. At the end is the bonus. You will learn how to identify different types of concluding sentences in paragraphs, and you will finish by practicing this skill. Make sure to click the link below for more practice activities. The concluding sentence is the last sentence of a paragraph. Its job is to summarize the main idea of the paragraph. It ties up the paragraph by restating the topic sentence. Sometimes you will see transition words or phrases that let you know it's the end of the paragraph. Some transition words you might see are in conclusion, all in all, overall, and in the end. Now let's learn some steps we can take to find concluding sentences in paragraphs. First, we read the paragraph. There are many types of video games. One type of video game is a sports game. Another type is a building game. A final type of game is an action adventure game. All in all, you can play a variety of video games. Next, we find the topic sentence. We're going to look for a sentence that has both the topic and the main idea of the paragraph. Look! Here is the sentence that combines the topic of video games with the main idea, types of video games. There are many types of video games. This is the topic sentence. After that, we find the supporting details. These are the sentences that connect to the topic sentence. As you can see here, there are three supporting details that each give new and on-topic information. Now we look for ending transition words. Let's take a look at our paragraph and circle what we find. Here's one, all in all. We want to make sure that the sentence after this restates the topic sentence. All in all, you can play a variety of video games. This sentence restates the topic sentence by using synonyms or similar words. It summarizes the supporting details about types of video games. One way to make a concluding sentence is to restate the topic sentence using synonyms or words with a similar meaning. So here's the topic sentence. There are many types of video games. Let's restate this by using words that have a similar meaning. The concluding sentence can be, all in all, you can play a variety of video games. We changed the word many to variety. These words have similar meaning and tell the same main idea. We can also restate a sentence by changing the order of the words. Here's an example. Our topic sentence is, there are many health benefits to eating vegetables. A concluding sentence can be, overall, eating vegetables provides people with many health benefits. This sentence tells the same information, but in a different order. Sometimes you might have to add extra words to help the sentence make sense. Be sure the concluding sentence is not written the exact same way as the topic sentence. Now it's your turn. Read the paragraph and use the checklist to find the concluding sentence. You can pause the video to practice. Let's check your work. Did you use the checklist? If yes, did you find this to be the concluding sentence? Great work! You made it to the bonus! You may find different types of concluding sentences in paragraphs. Some types are questions, 
sentences with excitement, and sentences with suggestions. Here's a new paragraph. First, we will read it. Ice cream sundaes are an easy dessert to make. First, scoop your favorite flavor ice cream into a bowl. Next, drizzle chocolate sauce on top of the ice cream. Finally, add toppings like cookies, sprinkles, and candy. Ice cream sundaes are simple to create. The concluding sentence is, ice cream sundaes are simple to create. This restates our topic sentence by using similar words. Let's see how we can change our concluding sentence to a different type. First, we have a question concluding sentence. This type asks the reader a question about the topic. We can write, have you ever made an ice cream sundae? Second, we have a concluding sentence with excitement. This type uses a strong emotion. For example, a concluding sentence can be, ice cream sundaes are the best dessert ever. Third, we have a concluding sentence that offers a suggestion. We could write, it's fun to make your own sundae. Grab some ice cream and toppings to give it a try. This leaves the reader with something to do. I know I would love to try this. Now it's your turn. Read the paragraph and use the topic sentence and supporting details to come up with a concluding sentence from the types on the list. You can restate, ask a question, use excitement, or make a suggestion. Don't forget to pause the video to practice. Let's check your work. Did you use one of the types of concluding sentences on the list? If yes, does it summarize the main idea of the paragraph? Awesome job! Here's an example of a question concluding sentence you can use. How do you protect yourself from the sun? In this Grasshopper teaching video, we learned all about concluding sentences and how its job is to restate the topic sentence in order to summarize what the reader learned in the paragraph. Remember, if a paragraph does not have a concluding sentence, there will be nothing to hold it together. Just like if a hamburger is missing the bottom bun, it'll fall apart. You finished the lesson for today. You are now a concluding sentence expert. To continue practicing, find this activity and more in the link below. Thanks for watching GTV. Hop on down to like this Grasshopper teaching video and subscribe for more. For even more, follow Grasshopper on Teachers Pay Teachers, Pinterest, and Instagram.